Abhi Mehta. Abhi Mehta was on the on the cube at uh, Hadoop World, and uh, one of the most popular, actually, one of the most popular uh, interviews we had at Hadoop World, mainly because of uh, the energy, the passion, the smile, um, the good looks, the good looks. But no, you deliver some great content. You Thank were you. really talking about the industrial revolution, the notion of which is our religion, by the way, data factories. So. Great stuff. Congratulations. Thank you. We're excited. Thank you so much. Um, you got a new startup you're working on. That's exactly right. So yeah. we're here inside the cube. Abhi Mehta, who was with Bank of America, now is with uh, your new company called? Trisada. And just Trisada. T-R-E-S-A-T-A. Tell us about it. So what, well, what is it? Can you talk about it? Absolutely. And what is what is up? We are launching Trisada on your show. This is our launch. All right. And we'll be waiting for it. So, we're launching. Uh, a big round of okay. applause. And, okay. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. But uh, Triseda is, uh, we call it, uh, we are verticalizing uh, the factory for financial services. Uh, it's the, it's, we, we remain rabbit fans on open source. And we believe the next wave of innovation, as you've heard me say, is going to come from uh, taking the, the open source principles and uh, taking it to, uh, to other industries outside the web properties. And Triseda wants to be, wants to do that for financial services. So we are a vertical application uh, of big data for financial services. Do we have a website up and running? Is the product available? There's a website up and running. Uh, our co we are going to build a product with a seed client. We've had uh, great interest in the market. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, there's more information will be coming. And, and your team, can you talk about your team? Ace? We have a team. I have a co-founder. Uh, the only guy I would go to battle with, Richard Morris. Um, Rich and I have known each other for a while. Hey, Dave, hey, good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see you again. <laughs> um, uh, we have a small team that we have assembled. We've had, uh, as I mentioned, good interest from the market. Funding? Uh, no, you know, we got, we're going to do it uh, the fun way. Yeah, exactly. All right, good. So we want to... Uh, Birds we, of a feather here. <laughs> yeah, we, we heard about we want, Tableau as well, SiliconANGLE, Wikibon, all self-funding club. Absolutely. We should start our own little, uh, little show called the Self-Funding Club. Yeah, the, the crazy entrepreneurs <laughs> who made a lot of money, right? <laughs> I mean, but why no. won't you take some money? They're handing it out like free <laughs> charity. I mean, why Combinator is just handing cash out? I mean, go there. That's a good point. No I free think, lunch. You know? No, I know. I think our focus is um, VC a unique opportunity, as you've heard me say, in uh, tooling the next industrial revolution. And we want to be the ones tooling it. As a, a, a very smart man once said, in the gold rush, the people who made the most money were the guys shining the shovels, not the guys digging for gold. Uh, you want to be the guys shining the shovels, right? And uh, we want to help people find the gold. So what tools are you guys working on? Then you, you, can, you, can you prioritize your... Yeah, so your I revenue? misunderstood. So I thought Trisada was a services company in terms of you guys providing consulting and planning, design. No, it's... No. no you're okay. talking tools and, Absolutely. and enablement. So Absolutely. Tell us more. That's exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, so... Uh, so uh, people are going to be throwing money at you guys. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, but you your support. I really do hope so. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Commissions. But, <laughs> but yeah, Trisada is, uh, is going to be building, as we, as we mentioned, so we is going to be building tools uh, and what we call the data assembly line. So the ability to take data, uh, raw data as it exists, and push it through the Triseda uh, automated assembly line, just like the old assembly lines of manufacturing, and then produce, what do we say, data products, uh, which have gone from millions of rows and thousands of variables to prioritized variables that uh, feed yeah. specific business Cleaned problems. Cleaned up a little Cleaned bit. Cleaned up, matched, yeah. um, parsed. Uh, intelligence added to it, uh, creating aggregations and derivative variables uh, for it, uh, for solving specific business problems. So, so this notion of a data supply chain is that something that that customers are actually going to start to move forward on? I, we, we we think so. I th we think that uh, that technology is is finally reached this ma this critical inflection point, where uh, you hear every new wave of technology have this uh, the tagline, better, faster, cheaper. We think it actually does exist now, right? So we think. Um, the, the notion of a, you call it the supply chain, I call it the assembly line, which is automated, which is verticalized. We believe that actually there's going to be a lot more companies like Priseda going after a lot more verticals. Uh, it would be good for us to be that as we grow and uh, we're starting with a, a, a domain that we are very familiar with and we think... Um, financial services. Financial services. Yeah. Uh, we think uh, will be uh, re-engineered, restructured, have a uh, rebirth, uh, centered by, powered by data especially given uh, what we have seen in the larger economy the last few years, and we want to tool it. Uh, but I, we think the better, faster, cheaper can be realized. It is better uh, because simply the fact that you can do things today and you can solve problems you could not solve before, um, especially what I call with the clash of the clouds, right? You heard me talk about it in the morning. 
we think there is just uh, immense value waiting to be unleashed as the as we see these uh, these clouds emerge and one time they will clash and there's some issues that we'll talk about that in a second but um, so it's going to be better because you can solve problems you couldn't solve before it's going to be faster because uh, you can actually do things at scale um, and you can and when you get stuck because big data is I have, I have a new dictat. Big data is no longer big. Yeah. It's small because technology has made it manageable. So there isn't a big data problem that cannot be solved anymore. Big data is actually an opportunity and technology has made, made petabyte size data small and manageable. So it's uh, the ability to do that and if you get stuck, throw in more hardware, throw in more nodes, throw in some little bit more open source magic, some kumbaya, and it will work. Uh, come to Trisera, we'll help you out. And it's going to be cheaper because it is truly built on the concepts of open source and commoditized uh, hardware and software around it. So when you talked about this cloud collision, you talked about you know financial services companies have your financial profile, the telcos have your mobile activity profile, the retail you companies remember, have, your, right. have your buying profile. So, so my question is, um, how do I get access to all that data? Can you turn, flip that and, and, and maybe provide some incentives? I might want to pay for that. No, know, is that something that companies are thinking about? Are they building data products around that and will they monetize that? Well, you bring a very, very important uh, notion uh, to, to light which, is, which needs to be addressed. I don't think anybody's addressing it. Trisera is throwing its weight behind what we call a new deal on data. A new deal on data needs to come and it needs to come fast and needs to be built around the principles of what you just mentioned, which is, at the end of the day, the core source of data, whatever that source may be, needs to have some sort of a right to it. And ownership is a hard word, I'll say use the word right to it. So if Dave Vellante is producing data across these various, and feeding these various clouds that are coming around, because Dave carries an iPhone, has a GPS on it, Dave has multiple financial relationship, Dave uh, has the very important customer card at his grocery store, which, which tells uh, the grocery store what Dave likes and p gives you coupons. Dave has a very interesting online social and uh, Twitter profile. You should have the rights to it. And if you choose, if the consumer chooses to share that information with a particular entity or for a particular service, they should get some sort of compensation for it. It could be anything. So I'm, I'm pr proposing this world will come by where, look, if your GPS data truly is valuable, and if your telco provider c came to you and said, Mr. Dave Vellante, I will take and track you every single living mi minute of the day, and in return I'll give you free service, you may sign up for it. And there'll be some other people who may not, who may have some other requirements. But at the core of it, there need to be rights to the data, you need to sit with the people or the, the unit that produces it, and if that data is used in any commercial way or for any particular commercial purpose or to solve a particular problem, there needs to be some exchange of value, whatever the value may, may, whatever the value may be. And that's the kind of deal on data we, we are putting our weight behind. Mm -hmm. One of the advisors to, to Seda is a leading edge thinker on it, who actually proposed this at the World Economic Forum two years ago. And it got lost in the shuffle and the pain of the credit crisis, but we think it's going to come back front and center. There are 1,200 people at Strata. This is the future. We all buy it, yeah. um, and something like this needs to happen. And we and we want to be that the white knight. We want to be one of the leading voices to help that, to help uh, frame that discussion. Now, who's that advisor? Uh, okay. Sandy Pentland okay. at MIT. Okay, interesting. Now, <clears throat> talk about the, you mentioned the financial crisis. Didn't big data kind of get us into the financial crisis? Is that? You know, I th I, yeah. is, that, is that true, or is that? You know, I'm not an my, expert. My I mean, there have, been, there have been tomes and books written about this. Well, but, it's sort of interesting. But you know, right? it's, it's an interesting like thing. If you big uh, data got us in, maybe big data can get us out. Uh, good. You know, I think yeah. uh, at the core of um, look, why is data? People ask the question: Why is data valuable, right? And when you break it down, every single industry, every single company, every single enterprise, every single um, project, even the cube, starts with you want to solve some unmet need. Some business problem needs to be solved, right? Yeah. How do you understand and make the decision to solve a business problem? With some information. How do you get the information? By churning some data through some models. At the core of every single business decision is data. That value chain does not change. Data feeds models, which spouts information, which help you make decisions, right? You guys probably have, you do the same thing on video. Yeah, we're very data driven. There's yeah, no exactly, doubt about right? It. So, so I think that that core flow, that core engine that every single industry runs on does not change. With that, with that logic, you can argue, yes, that 
there was this notion going around, every single company in financial services thought that they were different, that their models would, would, would withstand the stresses if they, were, uh, if they were to come. What they forgot was when there is a market crisis, um, if you assume that if you're going through a crisis and the market will absorb your losses, it's fine. When the market goes through a crisis, everybody's going to crisis. Yeah. There is no market to absorb your losses, right? And we do believe that the core of it was that the data is very valuable, has a lot of insights that were not being properly um, either articulated or mined or even analyzed to, to help us make better decisions. Can it be done? The answer is yes. Um, can it be done in the near future? That can we build a better financial system out of it? Absolutely. Will it happen in this economy and country? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we need to take the lead to do it. And we would like to play our small part in it. So, Triseta, uh, talk about some of the, the use cases that you're going after, some of the problems that you expect to solve first. Is it, is it, is it risk reduction through you know, fraud detection? Is it, is it new products? Wh wh where do you start? You know, uh, the core of what we would like to go after is the, the assembly line which we believe will be the foundation to solve a lot of them. And what we're realizing is that a step one in the process uh, may sound simple, may not sound very sexy, uh, but it is the ability to, to, uh, to make that factory real. The kind of raw material. The raw material. Yeah. Uh, and because your solution, uh, your, your business problem, your ability to actually solve for it will only be as good as the data you feed into it. And unless we, are, we have the ability to automate that pipeline at scale, uh, millions of rows, thousands of variables, ten, multiple years of data. Unless you can do that, you actually can't, um, uh, you can't effectualize the ability to solve problems. So we're going to start with the step one, the basic block and tackling, and enable uh, the factory to be built, and then very slowly go after uh, the applications. Now, do you feel like people are going to be, I mean, you've, you obviously live that, so you know the power of the data factory. Do you feel like, I mean, where are we at in terms of adoption in the financial services industry? Is, uh, is, is the bulk of the industry you know, of that mindset, have they realized, have they come to this epiphany, or do you have to do a lot of sort of evangelizing? You know, I, I think the industry, I mean, you've got to give the industry a lot of credit. Sure. Financial services has always been mm. the hotbed, as well as the Petri dish, yeah. for a lot of emerging technologies, right. as you guys know. So I think, uh, no, I think it's got some very, very smart thinkers Look, some of our initial uh, conversations with, uh, with potential clients, these guys are leading edge thinkers who want to make that leap and want to be the, per, uh, the, the, the entity or the person who defines the future. So absolutely, it's been, yeah. um, we've it, had great interest. And what's going to happen if they don't make that leap? Right, I mean, it's, exactly. that's, in that, in, that, in that industry, the most competitive industry in the planet. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the alternatives don't look very attractive, do they? Yeah. Right, right, right. So what do you think of this event? I mean, the inaugural you know, Strata Conference, big data, it's sort of confirmation of, of, of your recent career, isn't it? It is, you know, uh, I, told you, I told you guys that I'm staking my career on this uh, the last time we met, and it's, uh, it's good to know that there are 1,200 people at the conference who are doing the same that I am, thing that I'm doing. So it's great conference, great validation. As always, O'Reilly did a great job putting it together. Phenomenal agenda. I'm glad to see you guys are here. This is the yeah, attraction, this is the highlight of everything. Here, the cube is the highlight. I actually like the airy walls. Uh, the yeah. class. It's actually pretty cute, uh, pretty <laughs> That's cool. That's right. <laughs> we don't need all that fancy stuff. But you no, know, you guys, uh, no, I think it's a, it, it is, I think it's heartening to see, and I've had great conversations uh, in the conference, heartening to see uh, the big data revolution what we all discussed, what, six months ago? <laughs> yeah. I've been talking about ever since, mm. that uh, what we were thinking was a vision that I had, pro had professed is going to come true. The, the second revolution is coming. We are going to be the players in it. Yeah. Um, I think there are 1,200 rabid fans uh, behind us on big data well, who, who want to be as well. And not only that, you're seeing a lot of the enterprise, well, you know, we follow the enterprise, a lot of the enterprise whales are now getting into it. They're using the term big data. Some of them aren't even really sure what it means. You know, they got a lot of people <laughs> studying it, but, but they're going to go spend a lot of money. They're going to do a lot of market development for, for little guys yeah. and for obviously for themselves. So Absolutely. that's a great dynamic to have. A lot of VC money pouring in and it's, it's, it's early days. So uh, we're very excited to be here. Avi, it's, it's great to have um, you back on theCUBE. Oh, thank you. you know, we're gonna You're now follow. entrepreneur now, so you've yeah. got you know, grassroots, you got self-funding, you don't work for the big company, you don't have the protection. You're on the wild, man. Uh, you know, you know, uh, how does it feel? Uh, I, it's, it's like Tarzan. And <laughs> you, 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 you feel like you're king of the world? No, look, we are, we are very excited uh, on behalf of our team and what we're trying to do, uh, look forward to continuing a relationship 
with well, you guys. We absolutely, uh, we're friends of you and we love your vision, well, love the you. work. We're behind you all the way. You need Look, us for anything, let us yeah, know. Yeah, we're, well, we're covering you. this. You know, we want to go deep. We'd love to have you back on in some of our other events and maybe maybe dig into it with some of the practitioners. You can share your yeah. knowledge there. Absolutely. And, and, it's a good and, community and coming together. It's small right now, so yeah. Yeah. it's a good kernel of developing. So, I mean, it's a small show. It's great here. The industry's small. Uh, and we're all going to probably look back in five years going, do you remember the time yeah, when we, were, we had on, t on a table? Exactly. Of course, we're going to have a huge studio. Absolutely. Glass, yeah. right? You know? Even like the Apple <laughs> Cube at uh, MSNBC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and motorized cameras. Yeah. The whole Producers, deal, right? staff of 20 yeah. people yeah. running yeah. around. I don't think you want someone diving <laughs> makeup on you when you're doing that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, it's always a pleasure. Right. Thanks for your support. Thanks so much. And we look forward to uh, doing some fun stuff together. Yeah, all good right. deal.